Hello, neighbors. Welcome or welcome back to the neighborhood. I'm Squealer D and I am back again. This time we are back in the time warped world of Amy Marion as she attempts grocery shopping to feed her family of eight. Sit back, relax, and get ready to see what the worst cook on YouTube restocks her chaotic kitchen with. Today it is Monday. My morning is going a little bit later. Start sleeping today. The weekends are just long and um, spending time together and just doing things differently. And so the house, I woke up to the house, I'm like, oh my goodness, there's such a mess everywhere. But we had a good weekend. We had a good weekend out doing things and being busy and didn't film anything, but just, um, I will. I will get back into that. And then I also. She says that the weekend was long and she didn't film anything. But I think the truth is that this is the weekend and she is pretending that it's Monday when it's really Saturday. Time warping straight out of the gate today, Miss Amy. There are a monthly menu because it is time to go shopping again. Busy connecting, we're busy doing homeschool things, we're busy finding new groups and I'm not filming those things because, you know, it's like, oh, I don't really know the setup and the layout and I want to bring my camera and hey, here I am with the camera. <laughs> I want to stay hidden on those things and so. Amy starts the vlog off with lies. She 100% films the children that she is connecting with at the skating rink. I guess they don't count. She just says whatever sounds good in the moment, never the actual truth. Different, it's just different. For now I know where we can go, so we're gonna do the Aldi, Walmart, Sam's Club, just like we did last month, find some goodies. Um, this week is Halloween, and so the day after Halloween, candy goes on like 50% off at Walmart, so I'm trying to plan out a few things. I have to take my car in and get it done, and they had a recall, which is, you know, it's only not even a year old, and they have recall already, so they have to do a rental car, so I'm like, what kind of rental car are you gonna give me? Something that has room for my kids. I didn't know how that's gonna work out, so I just have to kind of play it by ear. Cars can have a recall at any point, Amy. Age doesn't matter. You just get it done and be thankful it's free. Or were you trying to flex that you have a 2022 Honda Pilot? But I'm not sure how it's going to work out. We also have a homeschool event this week as well. So I need to just kind of play. And then also run Brooklyn to work this week, each, every day, every day. <laughs> and then school in there, do the house, all the fun things that, you know, we have to do as homemakers and things in our home. So it's gonna be a busy week, but that's okay. I'm ready for it, ready for a busy week. I don't like to spend all my days cleaning. I don't wanna have to do that, but there is stuff I could clean, but I'm like, hey, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. I was doing the deep clean and then I kind of stopped. I haven't even done any more of it, so it's okay. It's okay, no need to do a deep clean. Heck it. In time. <laughs> So today we're going to go in. The kitchen's a disaster. Disaster. So there's stuff out here. There's stuff on the counter. So there's just stuff to do today. So you guys ready for a great day? I am ready for a great day. We're going to go in, have some coffee, get moving for our day, and not uh, get things done. We're going to make food too. Food. I need to make some food today too. This is it. This is my life today. So we had all the food went this weekend. There wasn't anything left over at all. We enjoyed the sloppy joes and the fries we had on Friday and then Saturday las um, lasagna. So that's all gone. And then we had tacos on Sunday. So everything's gone. Everything is gone. I don't think they ate that nasty old tomato paste lasagna at all. She kept saying for five days that she took it out and was letting it thaw. And then it ended up being a weekend meal. I think she just took it out, let it sit in the fridge for a week, and then threw it away. Her kids were not going to eat that crap when they could just fry up a bologna sandwich. This is some good... Um sermons you know some days when life gets a little busy or you know you just find your mind wandering at different things it's like it's good to get some good positive encouragement in your mind it's like amy says that when life gets busy it's easy for your mind to wander that's the exact opposite of how most human brains operate when you're busy it's easy to stay focused and not think about things you don't want to think about when you're bored and laying around all day it's easy for your mind to wander. Amy lies non-stop. Oh goodness, our minds can just go wandering on what he said, what she said, and just continue and keep it looping in your head all day long. And so why not loop good things in your head all day long so that you're focusing on the right things? A reoccurring thought loop is a fixation on fears, motives, or how we feel we should or should not have acted. Looping thoughts are a byproduct of obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD, but other individuals with anxiety can also have looping thoughts. Those with bipolar disorder 
are also more likely to struggle with OCD and therefore looping thoughts. Believe it or not, looping thoughts are like a tool our mind uses to cope with the stress. It's a way of distracting ourselves from something painful. For example, if someone is grieving the loss of a family member like their mother, they might just start obsessing about hurting someone else. It's not that they want to do it. It's just a way their mind tries to avoid the pain. Seek help, Amy, if you're having trouble controlling the looping thoughts. My second cup here, and I was pouring, I usually, sometimes I take that from the Keurig and fill it up. Sometimes I fill up, a, the pitcher doesn't fill it up all the way, so you get about three quarters full. So that was what I did today, no biggie, not a worry. So which I was think, talking last week about it with um, just the fact that it's just not ergonomically, like, good for the consumer to pick up and take off. So yes, yeah, you have to take a picture to it, but I figured it's all good. And then I was. She really wants the $200 Keurig with the handle. Kathy and Barb are slacking. Amy's P.O. box is looking real empty for the holidays. They said not every thought or feeling is not nothing. They all come from somewhere. They do, right? They either come from God and they come from the enemy. You don't have to think on those things that are not from God. I felt very guilty of that as well. It's like sometimes I'll just start replaying something in my head and it's like, that's not the way God has made us. So you have to remember that your mind is your mind and you don't have to choose to think on those things that just keep popping up inside of it. Because depression is thinking on those things that you shouldn't think about. Like, I know I've been guilty of it many times and just keep replaying things over and over in your head where you just want to crawl into that rock and disappear. But it's because my mind was thinking about those things over and over and over again. And you know, like being, feeling down, feeling discouraged, that's just the result of looking at things, listening to things, and thinking about things, and talking about things that there's death in. So it does matter what you think on, it does. And say to yourself, you can say, I resist every evil thought, every bad feeling. I say, leave me, I don't want you. I refuse to be discouraged. I refuse to be depressed. I rejoice in my salvation. I am blessed and glad in the Lord because you're keeping your mind stayed upon the Lord. So done it. I've been through it. The last couple years have been a little bit more difficult, a little bit more hard and where I had to like pull myself out of that. And it was hard. Definitely a hard thing to do. All right, back to work. As an wow. This unhinged rant is truly disturbing. This is her solution to serious mental health issues instead of seeing a professional. Depression is not simply dwelling on negativity. Amy is struggling with more than just depression or adjusting to a new home in town. She is describing the symptoms of not just depression, but persistent depressive disorder. She has told us that she attempted suicide in the past. She's constantly commenting on her poor mental health and how busy and overworked she feels. PDD or dysthymia is generally not as severe as major depressive disorder, but people with persistent depressive disorder do tend to experience episodes of major depression interspersed with manic episodes. I am by no means a medical provider, but this describes Amy's behavior in my opinion. Amy has immediate family members with mental health challenges. This makes her 70% more likely to experience depression. Women are also twice as likely to experience depression as men. Amy experienced childhood trauma in the form of sexual assault. This makes her four times more likely than the general population to experience depression. Basically, Amy has every marker for dysthymia. Amy has admitted on multiple occasions that she's not in treatment. She just brushes off her symptoms as normal, allowing them to fester and become crippling. Amy needs to speak with a professional and disconnect from social media. Social media and Greg's addictions and absences seem to be her biggest triggers. An effective coping strategy could help as well, but Amy doesn't seem ready to change her diet. She doesn't seem to have much of an authentic support network to vent and consult with. And these two things are probably the most important things in self-treating depression. 
the little jobs for the kids to do because I don't really have a set amount of jobs. I just, not there yet. I'm not where we used to have a planner. I just don't have that here. And so for now, those three things can be done by them. They can get all the eggs in the refrigerator, put them in here, fill the coffee pots because those are empty, and then um, dishes put away will be another job. So let me wipe off the stainless steel and we'll put our towels up. Take them. It's so lame that Amy makes her kids do chores that only benefit Amy, like filling her K-cups. That's not a household chore unless all of her kids are drinking Maverick coffee. Do they need to replace the Tulla paper in her and Greg's bathroom also? And then she lies so much about whether the kids have chores. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. She volunteers these lies. No one cares if she makes her kids clean. They can't even read, not even Lauren. What does it matter if they don't know how to clean up after themselves? Marion kids got to get a job and get out ASAP. No time for all of that learning. Break from cleaning, just real quick, because I want to get something in the slow cooker for lunch today because we're out of bread, we're out of, um, I have some eggs in there. I have like those little mini round sandwich things that we can make sandwiches on, but for the most part, I'm out of bread. So it would be a cracker tortilla day, but I'm going to make lentil rice casserole. The decision, decision. I think I'll just do one batch, or just one small. And you know what? If it gets eaten up wonderfully, then we can make double. So this, I'm using all spices because I'm not going to chop up onion. This is so mini. <laughs> I'm like, it works. All right, how much water? Three cups of water. Water. Gosh, it's so tiny. That just doesn't seem right. Nothing you make seems right, Amy. That's okay. Less, less is best. <laughs> Plug it in, keep it on low. I'm gonna put it on high for a couple hours because it will be lunchtime before you know it. And the breakfast, I still have um, pancakes in there. So I know that my kids will have little pancakes for breakfast, or they can make eggs. I have a lot of eggs, so either way. Okay, this is done. This took you like, what, a whole minute to put together? That'll be lunch. This could be a good dinner. I'm convinced that most of the food Amy prepares on this channel is meal prep for herself. And the children survive off of fried bologna and top ramen. There is no way any child would eat Amy's lentil casserole if there was a single other option available upstairs couch in there kids are always in there it's definitely a kid room i'm like all right there's constant stuff everywhere video games but i'm like you know what there that's okay that's their little spot to hang out and play so i'm good with that but down here it definitely gets used all the time amy's videos suffer because her sound is horrible youtube algorithm takes the quality of videos into account when suggesting videos to new viewers amy has to have four sound machines running in her house while she records just to hide some of the chaos. How are teenage children so loud when they know this is how their mom pays the bills? She can't keep them in their rooms. She can't get them to stay upstairs. She can't keep Al Bundy Brooklyn from controlling the downstairs TV. So she records in silence and does a bad voiceover later because they still can't even be quiet for that. If they will consume you and you'll just constantly replay, like I was saying. So get professional help amy like i was saying it's okay to ask for help it's okay to take medication it's okay to be truthful but that's good for right now it'll be nice to get our um closed in shelves here so we can put that in there on the other side in time in time craig's a busy man right now getting lots done and so he's working on other projects right now things that we need for our house so this will come after but i'll be excited to get this in here so you don't see it but everything's in time Amy always says Greg's busy, blah, 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 and everything's in time. But for someone who has a newish job in a new state, Greg sure takes a lot of time off. What about this entire summer when he did the pool? What she means is Greg has another hobby right now. And as soon as he is back in action, he'll attempt to destroy the house the way he did the pool my cleaning area done and what i'm gonna do i've got maddie maddie's wide awake she she likes to clean i had a couple of my kids you know they get up and they like to clean you're like oh good go right ahead <laughs> then i have some that can care less and that's fine but they, they all grow up and they do all learn to clean and they all even the ones that don't like to do it around their own they learn to clean isn't that funny how you do those things it's like the same thing with like um different things you learn in life like sometimes they didn't learn it when they were younger well you know what 
They eventually have to learn if they're older, and they do when they have to. So, Imagine having to learn things from middle school and high school during your first job because your mom was too lazy to teach you during the 16 years she pretended to be homeschooling and housewiving. Brooklyn must be so embarrassed and miserable. She's always late for work, and the measly $50 she makes a shift folding t-shirts at the mall means she'll be working forever before she can afford a car and enough money to head back to North Carolina for good. Give up, Brooklyn. Just make this your home now and find a cute new BTS lookalike boyfriend and get ready to be abandoned in Florida the next time your pops has to relocate for his work. Just like Lauren when she was forced to leave Michigan and her whole life is 16. But it's also to get a menu for the month rolling for our family. I did this last month and that was huge. It seems like I had, at the, towards the end I was like, okay, I'm run out of meals, but it was more like just fresh veggies and fruit and that kind of stuff. And so very normal, very normal things to go through. Sometimes we can go the whole month, I think the month before we spent, and then I just um, got like milk and maybe eggs, I can't remember. I don't remember, but it wasn't too bad, but this time I'm like, we went and got the fruit and veggies and the kids went, you know, we spent way more than we needed to, and that's okay too, I don't mind that either. <laughs> so let me plan for the whole month minus um, Thanksgiving. Let me help you. I already have your list written down. You need three gallons of juice, six cases of soda, two cases of Monster Energy drinks, seven jars of Starbucks coffee, 100 servings of hot cocoa, five rotisserie chickens, 10 packs of bologna, a gallon of chocolate milk, three gallons of regular milk, three gallons of lactate milk for Jensen, four lactate sour creams, four cream cheeses, 21 dozen eggs, five frozen pizzas, three dia for Jensen, 10 jars of spaghetti sauce, tons of bread, three to eight bags of french fries and tater tots, hash browns and more, and 11 bags of potato chips. Pretty much your same list from the last year. It's going to be Thanksgiving, so we don't do a turkey. We don't normally, and we sometimes we do, but not always. It's like not everybody loves turkey. Like my boys and Greg, they like turkey legs. Like Greg, Jensen, and Steven, they let a big old leg. The girls will not, and I don't even think they love turkey. If I made it, they probably would eat a little bit of it, but not their favorite, ham. Ham is the winner in our home, so. Okay, so the oh, turkey, well. just a little FYI, you can cook a turkey when it is not thawed, and with the plastic still in the, like, the neck and the, gizzards weren't like the inside the back of it so I just threw that in last night because I was uh, thawing for about two days and it was still frozen pretty much so I just stuck it in the pan last night left it on 200 overnight but it did not it just basically cooked it really slow and thawed so I could pull the disgusting up this morning disgusting so, and I let it cook but I want to tell the elevation I think the baking <laughs> is different but I could be totally wrong because I think we're at like 2,500 2, elevation so it's a lot slower so I know really didn't even cook much but maybe I didn't have enough enough I don't know but anyways it is up high now. It looks, the thing is popped, so I'm just going to leave it open so it can kind of brown a little bit. She roasted frozen turkey for 24 hours with a plastic bag inside of it. Never mind the plastic. You can't properly season a frozen turkey, and you definitely can't brine it, which is literally mandatory. No wonder she says no one in her family likes turkey. No wonder Greg is always leaving. He can't get turkey. He can't get fried chicken. And she's always sticking tomatoes in his macaroni salad when he told her he doesn't like them in there. I'd start cooking myself if I were Greg and the kids. They could even film it and probably help Amy with her views. We will get um, turkey, write that down, turkey legs. <laughs> turkey legs and we'll plan out that for our Thanksgiving but I'll do that when it gets closer to it and as it gets a little bit closer and we'll have to run to the store anyways because it's closer to the end of the month. I came upstairs because my kids are down there making breakfast and they're making eggs and um, making noise. R.I.P. Greg's sleep session. Some are doing the pancakes but some are doing just the eggs. So I, what I did is I printed off a monthly menu. Plan out like a month and then just write in each day what I'm having but that's so hard because some days I like I don't know what my weeks are gonna be like. My life changes every day. So, and then for breakfast, um, our schedule is gonna change here a little bit with Greg. Um, changes uh, time that he's gonna be working. So life change. When she mentions Greg's schedule change, she is one hundred percent lying. She completely looks away from the camera and scratches her neck. 
Amy is a horrible liar, and she has a tail, I've already told you. When Amy is lying, she touches, grabs, scratches her face or her neck every single time. I wrote down ideas every Saturday. I will probably on Friday make a casserole or something bigger that we can have for breakfast because it'll be where um, we can have like family breakfast. Each Saturday on Fridays, I'll probably be doing that for the weekend. And then How many weekends do you think she'll make a Saturday special brunch casserole? My guess is one. Her family does not eat her casseroles. And something different I'm gonna do is a whole chicken on the smoker. You can buy like whole chickens. We love the rotisserie. I'm gonna get three of those still. I do. I'm gonna try this. Greg likes like fried chicken. I don't really like frying chicken because of the grease and the splatter, but I'm gonna try it. Yes, Miss Deb, be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> fried chicken with an accent. She is also lying about frying chicken. How many words does she say with an accent in this video alone? Let me know in the comments. I couldn't keep count. Whatever your season is, it's like some days I enjoy food, I like making food, but it doesn't always happen because my life, and there's a lot going on that I don't film that I have to tend to, and I'd much rather tend to that than worry about making food. So you just. Greg is more important than you children and food for you. Point blank, period. Gotta do, and you gotta roll with how life goes. But I am happy to have a, a cool little plan here and what I can do. So it happened today and I went, I can't go grocery shopping, you know what? We could still eat, that's the beauty. If I couldn't go until next week, we would still eat, that's fine. But this'll be nice to keep kind of that stuff there, get some new stuff and then, you know, there's always that in there. So, can you hear my kids screaming downstairs? <laughs> there, they're alive and ready. So I'm gonna go back down, get Brooklyn, take her and then I'll be back and we will continue on with our day. So I'm It's ludicrous how badly behaved the children are. They know that Amy's channel is not in the best place and that their mom is stressed out, but they're too inconsiderate, rude, and bored to stop yelling at the top of their lungs so at least Amy can film. Horribly misbehaved children. Amy spends all day with those kids acting like animals and driving Brooklyn back and forth to her stupid mall job, which is only six miles away and the bus is free in Manatee County. I'd be stressed out too. Not to mention, let's pretend Gregor's job isn't make-believe. Let's pretend he wakes up every day around 1 p.m. and goes to work from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. at his mobile, flexible hours, open 24-hour, 3D plastic molding guy gig because he's a hard-working man, which is why he hasn't been around to even get his mug in the videos during the weekdays. But these kids have been screaming all morning. They don't even care about Gregor getting sleep for his job. I would leave them like he did in the mountains too. I can see why he carries that huge vape around in his pocket. These two didn't teach their children anything. And now they're reaping what they sowed. Bad kids, bad health, bad habits. Brooklyn and then I went to UPS and dropped off and then I went to my P.O. box. I went and got some stuff here. <laughs> this is good. This is one of my viewers, Ruth. She did another book. <laughs> she did another book. This lady writes Christian books and sends them to Amy and Amy can't even be bothered to post a link in the description or even say her last name so her Christian subscribers can find it and help Ruth out. I get it though. Her own son wrote a series of three books and she never even mentioned them once. But her daily Bible chapter channel gets daily promo even though it's not daily. She can't even be bothered to honestly read the Bible every day. She preaches that it's good for the soul and then films 18 days in one day. Amy couldn't be a more disingenuous Christian if she tried this this is from I want to double check Hilva yes he sent these look at sprinkle the kids are screaming so loud Hilda can't even get a good thank you sweet she said she thought of when I was talking about sprinkles because my mom always sent sprinkles and she spent, sent towels that's what she would do each um, season so Tumblin sends me towels which is beautiful and Hilva sent me some sprinkles look how cute those are very beachy like I can't wait to make some donuts Bean donuts coming up. We'll be making those this week, so thank you so much. Oh my goodness, look at it. Oh, that's 
sprinkles. Here's the card with her name. It says your mom spoke to me and said... Get Keep in mind as you hear these kids screaming, supposedly Greg is asleep right now, getting ready to go to work. Get my girl Amy some sprinkles. Love you. Never apologize or worry about us. You are giving us a wonderful view into your life and teaching every day. Thank you so much, Hilda. That was so sweet. This Chris Hilda is crazy. She said Amy's dead mom told her to send Amy some sprinkles. That's insane. I would block Hilda. The kids are still screaming in the background the whole time she talked. I bet Greg is going to be well rested for work this evening. I wouldn't even get anyone Christmas gifts if I couldn't even sleep before going to work every evening. Makes it seem like she's lying and there's no way a working man is trying to sleep with six grown kids screaming. Thank you for all you do and join a new Bible reading channel. I love this mixer because you never lose the beaters and it sits in the cabinet with ease. Remember my beater died? Look at it. I think my mom had the same one. All right, my hand mixer decided to die. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I've had that hand mixer for a long time. A long time, so I guess it's always gonna be the stand mixer. It's good, I usually buy just the cheaper ones. And they usually last, but this one, I don't even know when I got it. It's been a few years. And so it's just got it with everything in there. Thank you for the hand mixer. Thank you. That was something I was like, do I replace it? Do I not? It is easy to be able to pull out a hand mixer. So thank you, Chris. That was super, super sweet of you. Thank you. Very thankful for you guys. Thank you for that, for thinking of me. And you get things like that. It just thinks, mm, just makes you, it's just a blessing. So thank you so, so much. Look at all that fits right in here. How cool is that? I'm going to stick this over here on my top shelf so I can grab this out when I need it. So she can grab it out when she needs it. She's going to forget where it is. It only took six weeks from the moment her mixer broke to her new one arriving and being in a video. Amy makes sure she tells each and every person that gifts are a blessing to her so she will get more. I, however, urge everyone to remember Lauren's wedding shower before they send anything. Amy Subs sent Lauren over $3,300 of stuff for her home and a new baby just on one registry. This included a crib, a changing table, a dresser, and a swing that cost over $1,000. All for Lauren to rarely even be mentioned on the channel again, let alone seen. And for the Subs to never get to see either of Lauren's children. They hustled her followers, and it is disgusting. Don't believe me? Look it up. Just Google Lauren Marion and Matthew King wedding, and it'll be the first result. You can see everything that they were gifted, and still her followers didn't even get an explanation from Lauren on why you couldn't see her baby. I thought we're going to do something a little bit different because life was different. And so yes, I am in the same outfit. I've worn for three days. Count it three days, people. I know. It's okay. I think people do this in the real world. I know they do. <laughs> it's not dirty. It's clean. I hung it up, aired it out. It's Flashback to last Christmas. And yes, indeed, it was different. Greg had been gone since before Thanksgiving. And Amy was nearly to her breaking point. She wore this Velour Mafia tracksuit for most of the month of December, but three days in a row while recording for thousands of followers was probably her stanky record. I am enjoying Christmas, enjoying time with family, and just enjoying the moments. I mean, I got to spend Christmas with my grandbaby. How awesome was that? And so just enjoy, enjoy those moments. It was good. This lady left two grandkids in North Carolina and has another in Michigan and doesn't mention any of them. But supposedly she was so blessed to spend Christmas with him last year. Nah, the truth was she was just trying to seem like she wasn't depressed over Greg being gone and her marriage being broken. She absolutely does not care about those babies when we can see that she doesn't even care about her own kids put in Christmas movies all afternoon and that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna do that I'm okay with that I'm like you know what it's about relaxing and enjoy if kids want to come down and watch a movie awesome if they don't it's quite all right so it's good we had a good Christmas good presents and it just made me just like um, my kids I love my kids I love my kids just very thankful for them so it's just a good thing it's a good thing to see their hearts and just see um, 
you know, not that your kids are bad at all. No, they're not bad. They're just, they're humans, but it's just the goodness in their hearts and it just makes, just makes this mama, I was like, oh, you guys just bless your mama so much. So it was good. So what I'm gonna do now is get food together here because I wanna cry. <laughs> it's real. Last Christmas, Gregor was nowhere to be seen, but Lauren was there for Christmas brunch. Last Christmas, she loved her kids so much it brought her to tears. This year, she won't see any of her older kids, any of her three grandkids, her pops, who just lost his wife, her brother, who is adjusting to living without his mother for the first time in 50 years, and there's no way for Amy to go be with any of them or pay for them to come be with her because Amy just bought a home that she can't afford and Grego isn't helping financially. Think about it. If I were wrong, this wouldn't even be a discussion. We would see Amy's family like we did nearly every other year before her mom passed away. She should have stayed in North Carolina with Lauren and Evan. At least they didn't abandon her last Christmas like Greg. I hope that fake-ass Thanksgiving that she had this year with Greg was worth leaving her real family for. What I'm going to do is get our food up. So I had them fill out those cards, and then they kind of forgot about it. And so on Christmas, it was more of a surprise. So I know this Christmas is going to be a little bit different. My mom's not going to be here and um, different. Grandma loved Christmas. Grandma loved Christmas and liked to spread the Christmas cheer with presents. And so it's going to be different, and that's okay. So I just made up cards this weekend, and I wrote down, you know, a couple different questions to ask. One was, give me an item between $50 and $60. And put that down. Then I said to give me three $10 items, like, like $10 and under items. And then I also told them to give me one clothing item and then I had them write down their favorite snacks. You she can't have a tender moment about her mom because you quickly realize she only brought her up to mention how many presents she got the kids. She made Christmas for the kids every single year. Christmas already sucks this year without her. Also, does Greg give the kids anything on his own? Seriously, does Greg do anything and i might do that this year i don't know i'm debating hi baby hey, greg, got up. greg supposedly started a new career as a plastic mold injection tech which is not a salaried or managerial position and definitely not an engineering position like amy told us it's entry level and he's the new guy but somehow Greg has the flexibility to work different shifts at will and had months of vacation time to redo the pool all summer. How does anything that she says about Greg's alleged employment supposed to make any sense? Don't forget, he also leaves his egg salad filled lunch bag in his black rag top car in the Florida heat because there's no break room where he works. These cause worked out really good because the lids were on tight. They say the real ones. I mean, I like the fakey version, but they all want one of these. So I probably put that on the list as like everybody getting their own cup with the, maybe that kind or like one that has a lid that opens. Just not sure. We'll let them pick out whatever one they want. Cup grift. Amy wants fakey companies to send her free cups so she doesn't have to spend her own money on those naughty kids for Christmas. Lentils are done. That'll be our lunch today. We're going to do school. We're going to do chores. We haven't done any of that. And then uh, continue with our day. Next couple hours, I won't see it, but I'll be back in a little bit. And all that chat, and then I totally got my grocery list as well. So I have a whole list here, so I go shopping and know what I need. Hopefully everything's covered. There's been times I forget, but I try not to. But I know there's one right down the store if I need to. So She's got her shopping list ready. Hopefully she won't forget anything. Hopefully they won't be sold out of bologna. So kids are eating, they ate up the chicken salad, I made up some egg salad right here, and there's some lentils, it was such a small amount of lentils, definitely a small amount, but that's okay, it's delicious. So I have that there, I'm gonna make Greg's sandwiches for lunch, I have some of these in the freezer, so I'm gonna make a couple egg salad for him, get his lunch packed, and then uh, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna go read and get that part of our schooling done. Egg salad sandwiches, 640 calories. Nuts, 700 calories. Monster energy drink, 220 calories. An apple or three nectarines, 90 to 100 calories each. Over 1,700 calories for egg salad lunch for the big man. 
Okay, so today has been a busy day. So we have, I got to go swim for a little bit with Greg, which was nice. How do they swim if he was going to work? So he swims before work after sleeping all morning while the children screamed at the top of their lungs. And then we had to do a little bit of work on a few things in the garage we got done. So this is what they were working on in the garage. It's that <laughs> e-bike. We were messing with that and then we went out to the garage and um, we we're putting together some things we got, which I'll show you in a little bit. So these are two different clips from two previous weekends when Gregor was available to work on the e-bike for the video. Why can't Greg ever finish a project in one go? Why has he gained 50 pounds since Amy moved to Florida? He had lost weight when we saw him last March doing the driveway. And now here he is well over 280 pounds from the looks of things. Hey, babe. Hi, honey. What are you so this is back to the current video two weeks after the bike was put together. Supposedly, Greg woke up today after working all night, took a swim with Miss Amy, and now they're finishing up this e-bike sponsor ad together so they can get paid. All before he goes back to work for the night again. All after Greg listened to the children scream all morning, meaning he couldn't have gotten any good sleep. I am starting to see why Gregor left his family and didn't even bother to visit for the holidays last year. Like a pretty exciting video, but we've been talking about getting electronic bikes for a little while, way back into the mountains. It's been prohibitive to get it, you know, especially you need two of them, you know, and yeah, we could use regular bikes, but we're getting old. We're getting old. <laughs> It's been prohibitive. This lady has thousands of videos, some with millions of views. She took out a $244,000 second mortgage to open this dude a legit wood shop. But they couldn't afford to buy two e-bikes for fun and exercise. Sounds like Gregor and Amy have financial literacy issues. I think I shared the first time. <laughs> Let me interrupt this. Video. Let me interrupt this for a minute. I think the first time the kids, I, I rode a bike around the neighborhood. I was like, like literally halfway around my like thighs, we're on right? fire, and I was like, oh my gosh, am I so out of yeah. shape? Two people who do not get exercise and eat as much processed foods as these two would be the ones yucking it up about needing exercise and cheating with an e-bike. Something that's like mid-range. Uh, that most people can afford and it's you know m more towards the, the entry to mid-level yeah. you know and get you into the sport of e-bikes or whatever entry level that most people can afford to Greg is eleven hundred dollars this guy doesn't understand levels of anything especially bicycles and, uh, I mean, to me, it looks really good. Right. They just don't. They just don't look like aesthetically pleasing. Right. I'm like an aesthetic kind of dude, so you know, you can zip through seven gears. In there. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. But, so, but why would you use that when you can use this? Because, because like you said, we we're getting older. Right. A little exercise. So whatever. <laughs> Amy laughs right in Greg's face and talks over him and says, whatever, when he suggests they actually pedal the bike and get some exercise. Idiot. A lot of times, like, for me, I, get, I love to be on a bike. So I'll get, I'll get, like, lost on it. You know what I mean? I'll just be like, oh, my gosh, look at birds. You know, like, enjoy everything and the, the wind rush in, you know, that kind of stuff. So if I'm not careful... I'll be 30 miles away from the house on my bike. Right, now think about it. Not Greg, with his gut hanging out from the bottom of his shirt, talking about being an aesthetic dude that could easily ride 30 miles on his bike without even knowing it. He is such an embarrassment. He couldn't look stupider if he tried in those skinny jeans. I guess if I had it my way, I'd have all of us get them. <laughs> this is that, get, giving us like a little taste of how it's going to be. Yeah, what the electric bike. Which I feel like everybody about. would have one eventually. Greg says, if he had it his way, we would all have e-bikes. He could go buy some e-bikes, loser. I guess it's hard when you have an imaginary career. Don't worry, Gregor. It only took six weeks for a hand mixer. Was they sent us 
a bracket for a different bike. Like we needed our our eyelets to be a certain way. They sent us eyelets that were the opposite way. So no big deal, but we weren't able to put that on. And then the baskets only come, came with one bag of screws and that was enough to secure the front, but we couldn't put the back one on because the, you know, the screws that were in the holes in the bike were too short. Yeah. But this is awesome because we get to, we, you know, we get to see how TST wheels will do for support. You know, right. This kind of thing happens all the time. All the time. Human error. So this eleven hundred dollar e bike didn't come with all the parts, and nearly six weeks later, they still have not come from the company. Sounds like another shoddy company, like the one Amy got the propane griddle from. Don't ever buy anything sponsored from Amy's videos because you never can trust if they will explode or not. She will tell you they're great just to make her 2% commission. Anyways, let's take it on the road. Go for a ride. So as I said, I believe this is Saturday the 28th, which is right after the week we just covered in the last video, where Amy didn't wear her wedding ring for the entire week and then made up some lame excuse about a bug bite on Friday. Seems like Miss Amy isn't the only one that wasn't wearing a ring in the relationship. This is the second time I've seen Gregor without his. He also had it off in one of the beach videos. Seems like trouble in paradise, similar to last holiday season. This is like right up my alley as far as whatever. But yeah, we've been talking about wanting to get these for a long, long time. Yeah. So this is like really Our awesome. start for one. And exciting for somebody like me. I'm, I'm weighing around 220. This thing takes me Craig lies as easily as Amy. There ain't no way in hell this man only weighs 220 pounds. Why would you offer up a lie, Greg? No one asked you how much you weigh. Also, never any helmets in the Marion household. It's just a waiting game to see who gets taken out on this e-bike first. All right, babe, we'll go have fun riding your bike. And then um, kids are doing chores, to school, all that fun stuff. So it's been a few hours. I gotta go get Brooklyn already from work. She's done. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna get dinner made for the day. And that's gonna be it for my day today because I'm gonna plan on going shopping tonight. I think tonight's gonna be my Aldi run. So Amy plans on getting this video, the bike ad, and the Aldi public shopping haul all filmed in one day so that she can take two random days off during the week but still pretend and lie to her followers and claim she's a daily vlogger. I don't understand why she didn't do Vlogmas when she lies and splits her videos up anyway. She could have made way more money this holiday season if she would have just planned her videos and posted every day for Vlogmas. But Amy doesn't understand YouTube, so I can't expect her to know anything about Vlogmas, can I? Come back and we'll do a quick dinner. So it has been a busy day. I feel like, oh, I don't even know. It's just been a busy day and that's okay. Just some days are busy. I'm gonna throw a dinner together. This is a great thing to have on him. This is our favorite. This is from the Cake Boss. Cake House, it's called Cake House Lisa. She made, I think it's called Conchetta. I could be totally wrong. It's basically shell pasta. I'm not using that. I'm gonna use this pasta because it's really good. And that's what I have. And she just cooked it and she put olive oil and salt and pepper and broccoli. That was it, very simple. So now we kind of made it our own version. We started putting this in here. The chicken fajita. Put the broccoli in it, put the pasta in it, olive oil, and then um, we put Parmesan cheese. It is a winner. It is good. Every person likes this meal. It is a filler. Tastes delicious. It's light, but it's good. So I'm going to make this for dinner because we're going to be going shopping tonight and I don't have to worry about anything. So water is boiling, so we're going to put the pasta in here. I'll do a big thing. We'll do an entire container of pasta. Living crazy. A giant pot of pasta with a few ounces of processed chicken isn't even remotely acceptable for children to eat on a regular basis for dinner. It's all carbs and fat. We better put this in the pot because there's more room to stir, but we'll just kind of do our best in here. <laughs> we will be liberal with ours. But you can use any kind. I like the shredded kind better. I think we went to Costco and they had the grated kind. I just didn't like that. I like it more shredded. And then you just stir in. It'll melt and this is delicious. This is gonna be dinner today. Delicious and done. So I'm bare minimum living every single day in the Marion house. 
finished for today. I'm not going to do any more filming for you today. What I'm going to do now is go edit for a little bit and then I'm going to go shopping tonight. I'm going to start my shopping for the week. So I will show you that tomorrow. We can go bike ride all the time now. Like you live in the mountains, you just can't go bike riding every day. But now that we can do it here, we like to do it every single day. The kids are loving it. So we're going to go. Because people don't ride bikes in the mountains. Go bike riding tonight and then come back and do a little bit of swimming later. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Our food planning for the month, grocery. What happened, Amy? Is Gregor in the in the garage taking his frustrations out? We set up all the good things that we did today and then come back tomorrow. We're going shopping. Lots of shopping this week. So you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Go into Publix. Everybody needs some of these. Quail egg. Ooh, that's so <laughs> I don't know about that. Huh. Like that's a baby quail egg. That's a baby quail egg. But so dumb. What the hell is a baby quail egg? Do you think baby quails laid them? It's just a quail egg, which are smaller than chicken eggs. Just like on the counter. Can we do so? Yeah, we can. Start scanning. These are so pretty. So sad. Amy has to buy herself some anniversary flowers. It's because Grego isn't allowed money. We saw that during the summer when she said she would give him the exact amount for hot dogs. And he said, I won't do you wrong, Miss Amy. So pretty. We're going to go into Aldi here. This is like a newer store, so it's kind of nice. And go see what they got. Yes, we're doing bologna. My kids are like spam kids, but they're bologna kids. <laughs> Fried bologna. People are crazy with these <laughs> I don't really like bologna, but should I just use Brooklyn says you're crazy if you don't like bologna. Nope, not crazy. It just means we went to school and can actually read. It's literal poison. Amy only buys that crap because it's the absolute cheapest protein in the entire store and she couldn't care less about your colon. This child works every day in order to pay to fly across the country to see her boyfriend. And is this uneducated and immature to think a diet based on Aldi bologna is smart? Bologna like other processed meats, may be classified as one of the least healthy foods in the Western diet. It has been estimated that 800,000 lives could be saved each year if bologna and other processed meats were eliminated from the diet. Consumption of bologna and other processed meats has been linked to an increased risk in the development of a wide variety of cancers, including bladder, prostate, thyroid, endometrial, throat, esophageal, stomach, colon, rectal, pancreatic, lung, testicular, blood, and kidney cancers. The World Health Organization has classified processed meats as a group one carcinogen on par with cigarette smoke and alcohol. So Amy feeds her children tin packs of bologna in a month and it's the same as giving them 10 packs of cigarettes in a month congratulations mega mama oh they do a pie crust here this is going to save me from making some so i'm going to make those mini pies i'm sorry i'm getting that out here so that would be ten dollars worth of pie crust yes you can make it but that does save me from making it and it's cheaper than walmart it's literally flour and butter. She could buy $10 worth of butter and she has flour at home and make 10 times this amount. She's just too lazy and inept in the kitchen to do it. What else does she do all day that she can't mix up some flour and butter? Which I was like, that is a little bit more, but I got a lot of stuff for anniversary. I bought those little chocolate dessert bites. That's like $5. That was like $15 for those tiny little things. But that's going to be something neat for anniversary dinner. And then I bought shrimp. I bought stuff I normally would not buy. But if we went out and celebrated and ate something out again, we are going to go out to eat. But if we went out for multiple things, it's just going to cost more. So this is the cheaper way than going out. And so let's go home and see everything we got. So Saturday is actually our anniversary. We're going to go out Sunday to a couple restaurants, or a restaurant, not a couple, a restaurant, and then go do the beach and just, well, I just, we love driving around, driving around and just, explore so it'll be a very nice sunday but saturday is our actual anniversary so it'll be nice to have a little munchy tray of something yummy or something we can have for a meal for us 
it's only your 28th anniversary and you didn't get to celebrate last year because Gregor was in Florida and you were in North Carolina, but you still refuse to spend any real money for you to have a good time together? I bet driving around making a YouTube video so you can profit off of it will be a real magical time for you guys. Freeze these because I like these. Like that's my little treat during the day. So peppermint mocha. I don't really love peppermint mocha, but I'm like, we'll get it. We got four of these. This was good for our Publix and Aldi haul. Just a fun little munchy food for anniversary and obviously some treats and good stuff for the month. So I'm gonna close today's video. It's gonna do videos this week a little bit different. Give myself a little bit of a break this week because I'm gonna do some other things. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. It is Wednesday. <laughs> we left because we usually leave like at set time every time and we're always like five minutes early. So I'm like, okay, cool. Let's leave five minutes late today. No, that was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> five minutes late puts you like 10 minutes later so because of the way school traffic is. Because while I said note to self, don't leave five minutes later. I said I'd rather have you be five minutes early versus 10 minutes late so <laughs> it's okay so amy is brain dead why is she cutting it so close dropping brooklyn off to begin with it's all good brooklyn is it all good you could just jump on the bus for free and get there quicker and not have to worry about being late all the time because of your mother i suggest you get a job even closer to your home perhaps apply at crunch so you can get healthy and meet new people who are also healthy and not have to worry about a ride from your mom multiple times a day. Back, did a phone call and um, ordered up some Sam stuff today. Cause today is going to be my Sam's Club shopping day. We're also going to do life. I have groceries from Aldi to put away from last night, and then I also have um, house to pick up, things to do. We got to go clean the car today because I take it into the dealership tomorrow, and then we're going to go to Sam's Club. This is not Wednesday. She is saying yesterday when she went to Aldi and we know Aldi was filmed on the same day as the planning video. So that means Sunday or Monday. Buy the real Miracle Whip, but I want to spend five, six dollars for a tiny container. So they have the big gallon one at Sam's, but not at my Sam's. You just got to order it. So I ordered that. She needs the gallon of Miracle Whip with all of the egg and chicken salad sandwiches they eat throughout the month. At. Go in. Let's get going with it. I have to put away the groceries. We've got a little bit of pickup to do. I don't know what I'm going to do for food. It's one of those things you go shopping and you're like, what should you eat for food? I did have those pizzas that I bought at Aldi yesterday, but I think the kids are going to get pizza for lunch at Sam's Club today. So I'm like, do you do pizza twice? Then I'm thinking I'm going to have those rotisserie chickens. So should we just have rotisserie chicken? And then I'm like, hmm, I could like do a whole chicken dinner and serve it with a rotisserie chicken. Amy really had to think about whether she was going to feed the children pizza for lunch and dinner. How does Jensen eat Sam's Club pizza? I'll tell you how. He made up his stomach problems because he is smarter than his siblings so that he doesn't have to eat a lot of Amy's nasty casserole dishes. The good thing there wasn't that much to put away. I kind of threw everything in the freezer and in the refrigerator. Maybe as I get more groceries, I'll have to organize it. But everything's put away now except bread and some non-bread. So I'm just going to wipe everything down. And I think I'm going to start on a chicken dinner because that would be really good to have with the rotisserie because it's cheaper. It's cheaper than buying the $8 like little one that you have to bake yourself. So I'm going to wipe this up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get together a chicken dinner. I think that'll be good. I'll buy the chicken today at Sam's, but I have all the sides done for tonight. So that'll be... A good little thing to have. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. So I'm going to peel my potatoes, put them in here, let them boil over here. I'll put some peas and carrots in a pot, let those heat up, and then I'll do some stuffing. I think that'll be enough. And I'll make some gravy. Easy, easy sides to go with a delicious dinner. I won't have to bake. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got, I decided when I was cutting those, I'm like, or peeling those, I was like, hmm, I'm going to do some. I might as well do a bunch. So I'm going to do a bunch. The leftovers I will save and I'll make a shepherd's pie. Maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day. We'll see. But that will be good for that. So I'm going to get my peas and carrots here. The other thing I'm going to do is stuffing because I've got this container of stuffing here I have not done anything with. Now, usually use chopped up onion and chopped up um, celery. <laughs> We're not going to use it. Oops, We're going to do onion powder and celery seed because that's what I got. <laughs> that's okay. I'm like, when you Use what you have. Celery seed. It's okay. I got something used, got some. So I'm gonna have a little bit of onion powder here. I've got like a tablespoon of butter and a little bit of celery seed, very little, because it'll make it very flavorful. She doesn't have celery because she used it for the wrong thing. She had onion and celery cut up in a bag, but she used it for stuff that celery doesn't go in. She should have just saved it in her freezer for what it was used what it was meant for. Stuffing. It's gonna work. And then I'm gonna add 
chicken bland and I'm going to put some water in here as much as I think it's three cups. Okay, I'm actually doing more because one package, well actually it was only two cups. What did I just add? I had five cups. Yeah, that's a lot of chicken broth. Okay, um, we'll make it work. I have this a little bit left over right here. What did I just, I just added an extra cup. I need to take a cup out of there. Probably a little bit more. I don't feel like that was much. Two cups of broth for all of this? I probably have like half, so I guess. Let me take another cup out. I know, I wasn't thinking. I added two cups and then I added like a cup of water. So let this come to a boil here. And then I'm gonna add in my package here. I just feel like that's not much. If I can add more, I'll add more. I have never seen someone be so puzzled by package stuffing. The instructions are on the back. No celery, no onion. And why does she add so much salt and seasoning to process seasoned food? Packaged stuffing doesn't need extra bouillon. It's good. The last few times when I was shopping, they didn't have celery. So I'm gonna see, hopefully they have some. They just had like the long stuff, or like the, the shorter one where it's not like all the leafy because it tastes like chemically, so. She only wants celery without leaves? Does she think it's grown differently? Does she know she can just discard the leaves herself? She doesn't have to go without celery. I don't get it. The leaves taste chemically? Wash it? So I'm gonna make a gravy. Let me dump this out. These are all heated up and put these in a little pan right here. Put some butter in there and salt and pepper. Then what I'm gonna do in this one, I'm gonna have these small ones. Why does she need to heat up frozen veggies, season them, stick them in another container, and then have to reheat them again this evening when they eat? Why didn't she just stick them in a dish with seasoning and butter to be heated in the microwave later this evening if she wanted to make things faster or easier? By doing it this way, she's cooking them twice and wasting twice the amount of time. Chicken, this is creamy chicken soup. I only have one more left. I might have to make some more. Let me get some water in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of chicken bouillon to this. And we're going to make some chicken um, gravy. Her chicken soup is from Concentrate. She is supposed to be able to add water and it already be flavorful. Why is she adding more chicken bouillon to this crap? Whatever you got. I was looking at... They have a poultry gravy at Sam's Button. I can't not pick up. You have to order it. So I'm like, that's all. Okay, this is coming to boil. I'm going to add all of my stuff to it. So see, I could have added way more. Let me see. That's two cups. Because I'm going to add this to it, too. I feel like I need some hot water. We're doing things a little backwards today. That's okay. I just feel like that wasn't much water in there to begin with. She's still confused about this package stuffing. She threw the water with seasoning and butter out, and now she's just going to add hot water. Wow, this stuffing is going to be epically flavorless. See how this goes. So this is just um, chicken, creamy chicken soup, and a little bit of chicken broth. That's how I made mine. And then this is cornstarch and water. And it will thicken it easy. This took me, what, a half hour to throw this together, and we'll have a nice chicken dinner tonight without having to cook the chicken. And then I'll pick up a salad at, um, it's going to pull out everywhere. I will pick up a chicken in the salad and some bread at Sam's Club. We'll have that for dinner. That'll be delicious. Potato. Yum. Those are still cooking, so I'm whipping together our nice lunch here real quick to get that back for him. Because it's going to be heading out. Kids are doing their thing. I just have to finish up the potatoes. That'll be my last thing. I'll cover everything. And it'll pick up these. Are amazing. The nuts. Such a good little snack. Good day. This is a great day today. Glad to get all this done. Glad to make a lunch for my husband. And then have a nice home cooked dinner for tonight. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. A soda, a monster, two sandwiches, grapes, nectarines or plums, cookies, nuts, etc., etc., etc. Another hefty 2,000 plus calorie lunch for Gregor. I almost absorbed all the water. 
like I remember my mom making potatoes and they'd have the whole pot full of water and it never even went away. So is it a different kind of potato? I don't know. I'm not an expert mashed potato maker. I've been making food for a long time. But don't really do a ton of mashed potatoes. To know the science behind it, I'm sure. I know there's different kinds and all of that, but I don't know. It seems like it just, like literally I poured it out, there's just a little bit of water in the bottom. So not much at all. Okay, what am I adding to mine? I am adding some country crack. Because I am. And then we have some lactose-free sour cream. I'm gonna put salt and pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit of I think it's garlic and parsley. And just mash it up with my amount of little meat masher. First of all, of course Amy doesn't understand the science behind cooking mashed potatoes because she literally doesn't understand the science behind anything. Second of all, Christine just bought her that hand mixer and she couldn't even be bothered to pull it out and use it. I don't need to know the science behind mashed potatoes to know that putting lactate, sour cream, and margarine country crock is not the way to make it taste good but look at that in about a half hour i have all of this done which is awesome it only took her 30 minutes but she's convinced it can't be done during dinner time that quickly so that they would have a chance to enjoy a warm meal no she has to cook it in the morning and it has to sit all day for them to be able to enjoy it at dinner time because she's busy 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 we're going to chat new cars. We're going to the Auto Spa Express for $22. Okay. Della Della Bill, y'all. She heard that on a rap song. We decided to come to a different Sam's Club. This one, we usually go to the one in our town. It's kind of middle nowhere. This one is in Sarasota. So we're going to check this out. It looks a little more homey. So this lady who complains about driving every single day and always claims she's uber busy, drove extra miles and minutes to Sarasota for a Sam's Club when there's a closer one that she's familiar with by her house. Yeah, okay. Amy's house, one Sam's Club, far Sam's Club, Rehabilitation Alley. Hmm. Look at this, the Ferro Rocher set. Stop touching my hair. Oh, I'm getting these like right now. Rather than tell her bad child to leave his sisters alone, she mocks them for squealing about touching her hair. She was too focused on her chocolates. Why can't her 11 and nearly 14-year-old boys keep their hands to their self? Makes me wonder if that bruise on Amy's arm is from Grego or a violent kid. I see $10. You might as well just buy the other things. No way is Amy paying more for an uncooked one, so she has to do all the work. I don't mind getting that one. We don't have to cut it. She doesn't do raw meat. I don't know why she thinks she's going to be able to process and cook those chicken tenders. $39. It's just crazy. Look right here. What's crazy is buying a house that is so far out of your means that you can't afford healthy food for your family in order to make the mortgage each month. Ham, yeah, right? I love turkey. Do you like turkey? Or do you like chicken? She's already said her boys and husband love turkey legs, but because she doesn't like turkey, she refuses to buy it. No money gets spent in that house for anything unless Amy can benefit from it. Oh, look at this is only nine dollars. Dalla dalla bill, y'all. There's one of her children fake punching his sister. It makes you wonder if that's why her children are always screaming out in pain all the time. Do they get abused by a violent, uncontrollable child? Is that why not all of her high school age children go to youth group? Because they can't control themselves and have violent outbursts? $20. Amy might be going dual personality on us and we're meeting her alter ego with an accent. This is getting weird. Put away the cold stuff, and then I'm um, still got some of the big stuff out, and I'm like, ah, I'm tired. I'm definitely tired. It's been a long day today, so I still have to keep going. <laughs> We're not there yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to close today's video, and then I need to vacuum my car a little bit better. The car wash place did not do an awesome job. The outside's clean, but the inside needs a little better, so I'm going to wipe it down so it's ready for tomorrow. I want to take it to the dealership, and then, um, we'll have dinner, and we're going to have the chicken. That's going to be a nice dinner tonight. We're going to go riding bikes, and Probably swim in the pool and call it an evening. The entire two days of shopping was just another processed food haul. She got the same foods and drinks she's been getting every single month since moving to Florida. 
It's crazy to look back and see that she used up at least 10 packs of bologna in the month of October. With 400 milligrams of sodium per slice, that's an incredible amount of sodium for seven people. Shocked? They also drank three gallons of cider, over six and a half cases of soda, two cases of Monster, a hundred cups of cocoa, four to six containers of Starbucks cold brew, which means they consumed over 14,000 grams of sugar in October or 61 grams of sugar each every single day of the month in just sugary drinks alone. This doesn't include any food or snacks with sugar in it. The American Heart Association suggests that men should consume no more than nine teaspoons or 36 grams of sugar every day. And women, the number's lower, six teaspoons or 25 grams per day. Now remember, that one 12-ounce can of soda that she lets her children drink, that she drinks, that Greg drinks, contains eight teaspoons or 32 grams of added sugar. Ridiculous. Mixing, what are you seeing? Huh? <laughs> what are you seeing? You ready to go for a walk outside? You want to go for a walk, don't you? <laughs> She's like, <laughs> she loves going for a walk. So Maxine has no clue what a walk is. Most dogs would be losing their minds just hearing the word walk. Amy lies so easily. You see, you have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. It is another day in my life today. So today I'm actually sitting outside. So I'm outside, yes, looks like in a back parking lot here with a bunch of cars. So what I did is I have to take in my car to get some, um, the normal checkup done because it's a new car. And then also they had a recall. So they said, well, we'll give you a rental car. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I left at like seven o'clock this morning. So it took the whole 55 minutes to get there. And then I got there and then at the dealership, they're like, they'll run you up the street to the, the Enterprise. So I got to Enterprise. I've been here for an hour. I'm like, oh my goodness. I just need a car for literally 24 hours. I'm going to bring you along. We'll drive a new car. I'm like, it'll be great. We're going to drive a Yukon. So. Okay. Amy thinks her pilot is new. She's had it for two years. Strange thing to say, but I guess that this house will be new until she moves again, too, so. Came home. It was a driving a different vehicle. You're like, oh my goodness, especially here in Florida because, like, you know, the accident rate is huge. There was, like, dog here, and so I'm like, all I smell is dog inside. Got him. The accident rate is huge, says the lady who vlogs and drives and doesn't use turn signals. She says all she smells is dog inside the rental, as if she doesn't have a dog and a house full of stanky children. Maybe she was smelling her own clothes when she got into a freshly cleaned car. About 15, 20 minutes before I got to head out and drop Brooklyn off, so I'm going to just do a quick pick up of the kitchen. Two bologna sandwiches, Monster, Fago, nectarines, no cookies. Maybe she's mad at him for not having his ring on during the ad video, so no cookies for him. Also, if she's going to blur out her children's work clothes, she needs to blur it out every single time. Let your mom know, Brooklyn. I didn't put away all the groceries because I'm like, we have a few hours before I have to go back and get Brooklyn and then we have more some homeschool stuff this afternoon later on. So I'm thinking, let's go do our Walmart shopping. So we're gonna go ahead to Walmart, get the rest of our list done and um, see what else we can find and then we'll be able to pick Brooklyn up. All right, in Walmart, look at it, got you a nice little thing. Okay, first stop, half price candy. You only know for sure that today is Wednesday, November 1st. Because she's so cheap, she wanted to make sure she got Halloween discount candy the day after Halloween. Right here, half price candy, kids. I'm keeping the camera down because there's people. That's why I don't like to show people's faces unless, you know, I'm filming something. So I'm just going to... Um... She says she doesn't like to show people's faces unless she wants to. What about your children that have repeatedly asked you not to film them, but you care about a bunch of strangers? Or are you trying to be covert because you're not allowed to film in some places? So many lies. Go Christmas shopping, decoration shopping. 
this next week. So, but I just don't know what I'm gonna find. Maybe I'll find a better wreath, but I think that'll be really nice, the beaded one. This one, I always get great value versus, look at this name, look at the price. $1.57 and $1.18 for the same thing. So which one should you buy? She really asked an 11 year old if a dollar 57 was more than a dollar 18. Which one should you buy? Cheaper one, right? And so we are at, guess where? McDonald's. So we just had to grab a lunch slash dinner because life is a little bit busy today and that's okay. So we're gonna grab McDonald's here, get in some for Brooklyn too, and then we're gonna head home and we're gonna do a grocery haul real quick and then put the cold stuff away. Then we're heading back in the car. We are gonna go drop this off and get my car. Then I'm I'll sorry, I'm still waiting on a man. Of course, Amy is Karen number one and needs a manager at disgusting old McDonald's yapping into her camera, holding up the line and being super annoying with all of her grifted gift cards. And then um, we are going to go to the kids for the homeschool thing and it'll be call it a night. And then when we get home tonight, we will have pieces of some chicken from our rotisserie chicken with some fruit and veggies. It'll be easy, easy dinner, but we'll have McDonald's for now. We've got a gift card. That's a nice thing. This is the Halloween candy on sale. So this was, I, did, I got this for Greg at normal. This is like, what, $13? I think I paid six. This is a counter full of diabetes for your husband. That's what this is. For this, so I should have just like looked a little bit more. He'd probably be happy with that, but I know he likes this. So I got this for anniversary, but these were half price. This will be good. I got this for Greg too. And this right here, caramel lovers. That was half price, half and half. So that right there is a great deal for walmart okay so another four hundred dollars but still within budget for the month if i add up all the money i spent for all of it i'm still at two hundred dollars per person and we got a ton of great stuff for anniversary all right so what I so she spent sixteen hundred dollars for this month's groceries and 90 percent of it is processed foods again Imagine how much she would save per person if she didn't buy 11 plus bags of chips a month, six to 10 frozen pizzas, 10 plus bags of different frozen potatoes, all of the sodas and drinks and candy. I'm gonna do right now is we are gonna leave. We put all our cold stuff, I just threw it in the freezer. You'll have to come back and I'll organize and do better. We've um, organizing of that, everything's just thrown in there. I discovered um, sweet potatoes in the freezer. <laughs> so, somebody threw them. How dumb do your 11 to 17 year old children have to be to put a bag of whole raw potatoes in the freezer? These kids need to be enrolled in the nearest school ASAP. What Amy is doing to these children's education or lack thereof is abuse and neglect. Sweet potatoes in the freezer, that's okay. I'm gonna see what they do. <laughs> I'm like, that's okay, we got busy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna leave here right now. And then I'm going to go grab Brooklyn at work. And then from there, we're going to drive over to the car rental place and drop us off there. And then they will take us to the dealership and then I'll be able to pick up my pilot for tonight. And then from there, we're going to our homeschool meetup thing. There's a few kids that are going to that. And then I got to drop another one off in another area. And then when I drop that one off, I go back to the kids in the homeschool thing. And I stay there for about, I got about another 45 minutes. And after that, we go back to the last one and pick them up. And we sit there for about 15, 20 minutes until they're done. And then we drive home. So that's our day. It's busy and long and ah, tiring, but that's okay. It's it'll be it'll be it's a good day. It's a good day. I'm thankful to do it. We got groceries. Brooklyn has to wait for her mom to pick her up late from work and then run all of Amy's errands with her and go to a homeschool event with her little siblings, take someone to youth group and pick everyone back up when she already finished Amy's Academy for Dimwits. It's a rough life for a teenager before they save up for a car in the Marion household. That's a great thing and um, come back tomorrow. We'll do some food for the weekend. So, all right, we'll see you tomorrow. It is Friday, caught up and I was tired. This week has been a long, long week for me. Lots of shopping, lots of running, lots of here, there, everywhere, all around. <laughs> so usually Friday I like to get up and make my food for the weekend and I'm like, ah, I'm not feeling that today. And we plus Amy does all this driving and waiting all day. What does Greg do? Does he supposedly work so much he can't drive a kid somewhere? None of this driving is in the direction of his job. The long week and the running is all because of Brooklyn's stupid mall job. If Brooklyn was smart, she would quit and make Amy buy her a car for all of the work that she's already put into this channel over the years. But none of these kids will understand that before it's too late.
We are going to go out. We have a homeschool gathering today, so we are gonna go roller skating today. But I will do uh, dinner and stuff tonight, and I'll film that. But today's video is gonna be a whole lot of stuff in here. I started doing the video, and then I was talking, and I'm like, wait a minute, I forgot I filmed putting all the groceries away. So I'm gonna insert all of that footage <laughs> right now. This was the last, I think, <laughs> Been a long week put all the groceries filled the containers up so let me show you she doesn't even know when this footage is from it could be from tuesday it could be from monday it could be from thursday heck amy's not keeping track why should we like reorganize because every time we got from grocery shopping it was like throw it in the refrigerator throw it in the freezer wherever put wherever you can you know what i mean and so that was like let me get it all organized so i know where everything is so let me show you all of that footage right here okay start in the kitchen and i'm like okay where do i even start this is the day i was really tired i didn't want to do anything but i'm like let's just start and then i'm like where do i even begin i'm like let me just start right here in the corner this was all the where do i start where do i start let me begin where do i start a halloween candy that we got for cheap so i thought well let me open up one container one bag and pour it in this glass jar and stick it right on the counter i'll probably try to fill this up kids are going older where they're not sneaking candy all the time they're not like little anymore so this worked out good and then i'm coming to these ones this is my baking supply cupboard and it has like our i'm filling the chocolate chips up here and my flour and brown sugar things like that so with none of these things last for very long it's not like this will be in here for six months at all if it did i would not be restocking on top of it as best yes you absolutely will be restocking on top of it six months from now. Just like you have been in this house for six months and you're restocking on top of it instead of washing them out and making sure they're nice and clean before refilling them. Best as we can do. <laughs> That's what I say. I'm like, you work with what you have. Does no good to complain. Yes, you can go build whatever you want. It's going to cost you a lot of money, but you can also work with what you have. It makes you get very um, inventive with things and... Yeah, let's work with what we have and be ghetto in a $650,000 house. Such a loser mentality to have. Like when I do open some veggies or something, there's only a little bit I like to keep that in here. The cheeses I like to keep in here and any like small. How long until her freezer is broken and won't open or close properly because she leans her entire weight on it every time she cleans it up. Also, why does she always set her food on the floor? We've seen Maxine poops, lawnmowers, glass, sand, everything all over this kitchen floor. But yet, she has no problem setting dishes, bowls, pans, and even food all over it. Don't forget, she mops about once a month and doesn't understand what cleaning her grout even means. I did tell you last week that somebody put the sweet potatoes in the, um, the freezer too, right? Yes. <laughs> So I let those sit on. I'm like, huh, those are ruined. <laughs> so I had to throw those away, but that's okay. It made me go. We were busy and in a hurry, and we obviously did not pay much attention to uh, knowing that the sweet potatoes were in the freezer. So it's all good. It's all good. Food is cheap, and Amy is rich. So who cares if her middle school, high school age children didn't know what sweet potatoes are? And she said they put them in there last week. Not yesterday, like she's make-believing on her channel. Not a few days ago. But last week, because Amy is not a daily vlogger, she lies and pretends she is. She goes days and days without filming and then makes three videos in one day like she did in the blue dress. Was it Monday? Was it Tuesday? Was it Thursday? Nah, it was all on Sunday. So Amy could chill and not film on Tuesday and Wednesday and do voiceovers on the other days she didn't feel like doing anything. Likes bologna, tomato, and mustard. I don't know, that's his favorite. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever the man likes, make for the man. So I'm just chopping up some tomatoes here, putting those on there. My kids love bologna too. They make usually a fried bologna sandwich with egg in the morning. That's what everybody's like go-to breakfast sandwich is. So different. I never, I grew up on bologna, but I just don't like it. I don't really like it at all. I haven't had a bologna sandwich in years. So I've got them some cookies here. I got from Sam's Club. And then I think I put together the nuts that I had um, and some uh, plums and nectarines we had. Because I was like, you like those. Let me throw them in your lunch. You can snack on them while he's working. And then we were empty that container, which worked out really good. And then his monster and soda. And then I threw some nectarines in there. And then uh, I think that was it for his lunch. And I close it all up. Oh, I've got him candy. And that's what it was. I got him Snickers and some M&Ms. Another 2,000 plus or so calorie lunch for Gregor. Plenty of sugar and a pair of nasty Sammies. Those have to be the most disgusting looking bologna sandwiches I've ever seen. They will be so soggy by the time lunch comes around with those ginormous tomato wedges. And mustard only in the middle. Yuck. 
I don't know anyone Amy's age who's okay with their spouse drinking energy drinks on the regular. I think she really is trying to get this goober out of the picture. She's trying to put a ninja move on Greg like Jamarelle did Big Trav. All of that is done now. What we have done is gone Christmas decor shopping as well this week. So it's been a busy week of things. Just get a new camera. So I've ordered one, Canon Henneman back order. Amy bought the exact same camera to record with so she wouldn't have to learn anything new, which means she will also miss out on all the new features of the upgraded model. She also has to wait two weeks for a camera to come when she could just go to Best Buy and purchase the new model and upgrade her sound with a new microphone and have everything she needs to improve her videos. But does Amy ever do anything to actually improve her videos or her content? or find sponsors that are relevant? No. So I got it from Amazon. It's still gonna be about two weeks till I get it. So people are like, do people see you vlogging? No, they don't even know I'm cam doing my camera because this is like such a small thing. So when I'm filming, it's like right here, put it down. Right here, put it down. Nobody like sees what I do. It's almost like you have your phone. But this one is a whole lot bigger setup. And so it's like, you know, bigger camera around your neck. It's one of those things you can't hide very much. So you're like, so multiple times yesterday when I was shopping, I had people, a couple older people, they're like, hey, and they're like, I'm like, hey, and they're like, do you want to take my picture? I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to take your picture. So I try to film. A lot of people ask me why I point down my camera. I don't like to film like people too much when they're shopping. But anyways, do what you got to do, right? So Amy looks so goofy showing us how to be sneaky filming. She really thinks old people are stupid. She always comments about someone's age if they're older. If she's ageist, which is super weird since her supporters are older, I wonder what other prejudices she's harboring. Besides her dislike for playgrounds in dark neighborhoods and constantly disrespecting Asian and Hispanic cultures. I'm like, I could use my phone, but it's like it just... My phone has good video too, but I'm like, we'll just use the camera. So anyways, it's been a crazy week of trying to film, do things, blah, 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 shopping, all these things, putting food away, running kids here, running kids there. Lots going on, but like, good. So, and then this weekend is our anniversary weekend. And so I'm like, we have plans, we're going to do things. And I'm like, you know what? Today I got up and I was working upstairs. I'm like, I have a lot to do today. Like taking my kids, we're going to go do, we have a homeschool roller skating thing today. So we're going to go roller Amy can't even follow her own week. She said at the beginning of this week that they had one homeschool thing. They already went to it three videos ago. Now she's talking about another homeschool thing. What is it, Amy? Did you have one homeschool thing? Two? Do you just call any time you leave the house a homeschool thing? Because I know that Astro Skate allows a teacher and four kids to skate for free on Wednesday afternoons. Sounds right up the Marion Alley. That would be fun, um, branching out, finding things. It's getting cooler, able to get out more and do stuff. And so I'm like, I don't want to spend all my day, my day in the kitchen, but I'm going to have to make dinner. So come back, we'll do dinner, and we'll do that later on today. But for the most part, we have breakfast, cereal, lunches, sandwiches, and munchies. There's plenty of that stuff. There's chicken. There's lots of that in there. And then we can just I'll get dinner made tonight. But I thought, let me share. Today's video is going to be just different. We're going to have a lot of different things in here. And then I'll film this weekend because I'm going to make food tomorrow morning. I thought I would get up and do my apple cider slushy donuts and make some fun things for us for the weekend, do all that. And then I'll film um, what we're going to do this weekend, just something different. So you'll see that on Monday. But for today, it's just a whole lot of different stuff. So we no, you film every weekend. You just never told your audience because it made you special to be a daily vlogger. The truth is, you're the same as all the other YouTubers who put out a few videos a week. Only their quality is a whole lot better than yours most of the time because you're too busy trying to give footage and line to keep up the front. You can give it up now, Amy. You can't even pull off Vlogmas daily vlogging to attract new subs. Just admit you aren't daily and stop putting out rushed crap content. Goodness, so we were driving. We had about an hour to kill before we had to pick up a child. And I was like, it's getting dark. I'm like, we can't go to the park. I'm like, what should we do? And I saw Big Lots. I'm like, let's go to Big Lots. And on a side note, Coke. I buy Coke for Greg. I think I paid, I don't even know what I paid for a 24 pack of Coke. It was a lot at Walmart. And then I went to Big Lots. They were $4 for their 12 pack of soda. And I was like, wow, that is a great deal. So I ended up getting that. 
I know this was filmed in the first week of November, but I have to jump ahead to December really quick, just for Maddie. Maddie, your mom spent at least $100 for your dad's monster energy drinks, all of his soda, and her coffee drinks last month, but couldn't even budge a buck or two for that red fingernail polish you had your heart set on for Secret Santa gifts. OPI is a pretty good brand, and you're in enough of her videos that you deserve the opportunity to pick a nice little inexpensive gift like that for your Secret Santa. You deserve to have that more than Gregor needed another case of Coke because it was cheap. Amy, legit, shame on you. You can't budge $2 for a special Secret Santa gift, but you'll uproot your whole family and leave your daughter and grandkids so that Grego can kick the wham-bam in style and you can stick your hammer toes in the sand. Disgusting. One day, you're going to want to pick your children over Greg, and it's going to be too late. And they aren't going to be uneducated little kids anymore wanting a mom's love. They're all going to be healing from their childhood traumas and not want anything to do with you, just like Colin. And then the kids and I went to, um, we wanted to go to Hobby Lobby. So we Googled where one was, and we found one. And so we drove, it's a little bit further in Sarasota, but... I mean, no further than everything else is here. And so we went and it was like, sometimes everything's right in the city, crazy traffic, everything else. This was like backwoods driving you through you know, like the country club areas and like old Florida is what it reminded me of. So let's assume they went to Hobby Lobby the same day as Big Lots. Why not go to this Hobby Lobby right here that is eight miles away? Nah. The Marions would rather head all the way down to the Sarasota Hobby Lobby that happens to be right by Rehab Alley. Hmm, all of this from a lady that doesn't like to drive around. So much. That's kind of cute. For your top of your tree or like a hat? Like you. Okay, because it does. I think they're like three bucks at Walmart. It's cheaper. But down the I see it. No, it's on the menu. The kid suck as badly as Amy does. The whole family just told Stephen, who loves dolls and puppets, to put the doll down because it's more expensive than him. And Amy just mocked. More expensive than you. That is her go-to, mocking them. Own cart so I can make Why don't you push? Get a baby one if they have them. This is a 17 year old who their mom thinks is educated and grown up enough to be graduated from high school, working full time and traveling for a week at a time over a thousand miles to visit her 17 year old boyfriend who's also graduated and working full time thanks to his mega mama yelling across the Hobby Lobby for her younger siblings to get her a baby cart so she can push it around and shop for items for her bedroom. Don't buy too much, B. It won't fit in your car when you finally fly the coop and move back to NC. Oh, look at the big giant Santa mug. It's like giant. It's really cute. Joy of the world. I just These kids are so loud and obnoxious all the time, yelling Maddie across the Hobby Lobby. And then inside can be the flowers. Like I would have to get some real flowers. I have to buy myself some flowers. Yes, you will have to buy yourself some flowers. Because as long as you have had a channel and as many times as Greg has vlogged for you and took the camera, he has never, ever one time went and bought you flowers and did anything above and beyond for you. Okay, I love a Hobby Lobby. I forget how much great stuff they have at Hobby Lobby. This is like a nice part of Sarasota. I think everybody goes to at home, everybody goes to home good. So I guess it's a forgotten store, but maybe not. They have great stuff. So we're gonna go to another one, I'm not sure. Let's go find out where we end up. All right, then after Hobby Lobby, we got in the car and we drove back to the UTC Mall area, not back, over to the UTC Mall area, and wanted to go to um, the Home Goods store over there. So she didn't mention Big Lots being on this day, so we'll assume for sure that Big Lots was Monday or Tuesday when she didn't film at all. She was just out driving around because she's such a busy mama. She's not. She has multiple days that she does nothing. This was a dollar at Big Lots. 
So I'm gonna put this um, in the bathrooms because they Brooklyn bought some Bath and Body Works ones, and I'm like, it was like a lot of money. So I got those ones, and then I got these ones for Christmas. They were a dollar. Yay! Enough hand soap for everyone to have one in every bathroom. Now let's see how long this trend lasts. Amy pretends that they wash their hands, but they have not had soap in the bathrooms up until recently. She didn't even know what a hand soap dispenser was for. For the bathrooms. I thought that was good for our haul for, isn't it? So we got some stuff here. This is a star. I mean, <laughs> I had to laugh. I'm like, this is just crafts and activities. And we just got like these little decorations right here. But, over here. but this is kind of like what I wanted to decorate. It's like, that gets me started at least for decorating. It's like I wanted something for the porch because everybody decorates their porch here. So. Right. I bet her neighbors loved having that bare and dirty stained up porch for the last six months to look at. I am back. You don't even know where I went, but we went this morning to that homeschool roller, or not roller skating, rollerblading, roller skating, it's skating, skating event. So we had a good time. It was our first time going and very, very good. Kids had fun. And well, this place, this, the roller blade skates were not good at all. They were very worn and used. The roller skates were in great condition. So as we're sitting in there, because I'm like looking at all the hundreds of other kids, I'm like, they all were in the roller skates from the place or they had their own roller blades. I'm like, because they know those were so bad. So as I was sitting in the place, I was literally getting my kids shoe sizes and ordering them roller blades. So this is their first time there and she's already ordering them rollerblades. She thinks the rollerblades she gets off Amazon are going to be better than the ones at the skating rink because she knows all about sports gear. Or is this all a big grift to Chinese companies to send her some rollerblades for free? Amy, buy your kids some helmets before they get a brain injury and you have to vlog about how hard life is after that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make dinner right now and then I'm going to head back out the door tonight when I drop broken off at work. I'm going to go get my nails done today. I was saying my anniversary is this weekend. I'm not doing it for my anniversary. I'd like to have it done for my anniversary, but I'm having it done because I like to have my toes and nails painted. Like, ooh, I can't have my toenails all sticking out right now because everybody else's are all done. So it's little things in life. So I'm going to go get my toenails done and my fingers done. So something I do, that's what I like to do. My Friday. What kind of wife doesn't get a manicure for her anniversary? Is she going to shower? Is she going to brush her teeth? That's crazy. They have been married forever and she just went out of her way to let us and Greg know that she was getting her nails done for herself, not for him and their anniversary. Today is going to be, I'm going, going to be going in there. I'm doing dinner. I'm cooking hamburger right now and um, doing the chicken, all the chicken from the rotisserie chicken. I'm separating that into bags, get that in the freezer. And then I'm going to be heading out here in about, we got about 45 minutes. So time is flying. And then my night's going to be nails. And that's going to be it. That's what I'm doing today. That's it. And then tomorrow is the weekend. And I'm going to film the weekend. So you'll get a weekend vlog for Monday. So it'll be good. But it'll be nice. Just a good Friday. It's like, it's been a long week. It's been a long, long week. So it'll be good to go. Just kind of relax for a little bit and sit and chill and just uh, get some pampering done. So let's. This lady filmed three videos in one day and took at least two days off from doing any filming, yet she's complaining about how long her week was and how badly she needs some pampering. Imagine Amy Marion working a real job with real work and real deadlines. She wouldn't make it a full week. Brooklyn is watching a show in there, so I'll do a voiceover on this. Kim, I don't even know. What am I doing? I'm doing nothing. <laughs> Brooklyn's TV time supersedes Amy's vlogging to pay the mortgage. Brooklyn needs to unwind from a long four hours of folding t-shirts. Why don't these loud, rude children watch TV upstairs or in their bedrooms? Can she not trust them to watch TV alone, but she can trust her to fly to North Carolina and stay with her 17-year-old boyfriend? Super weird. Because I've got all those mashed potatoes, so I'm just going to cook the hamburger. I'm in a hurry today. But yeah, I'm putting it in the oven. I'm going to bake it. I'm leaving. So She's in a hurry every day. So it'll have to be how it turns out. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I've got some salad I'll pull out, and i got the Cuban bread I took out of the freezer, too. So it's going to be delicious and yummy. Home-cooked meal, because today would be a day I'd go. Let's go get more corn dogs or hot, or, you know, macaroni and cheese. But I've had that a lot this week. had a lot of really easy meals, so. I don't think anyone eats these kind of things when she makes them. How could she get someone to eat her casserole slop after having Sam's Club pizza, McDonald's, frozen pizza, corn dogs, and fried bologna sandwiches all week? She'll throw it away just like she did the tomato paste lasagna. If you are good boys and girls 
and you stick around for a few more weeks in Amy's world, you'll get to see her thaw and then further pulverize this rotisserie chicken in the slow cooker. And then in true Amy fashion, she'll freeze it once again in various meals she makes from the mush. Get your puke bags ready. Some days with Amy Marion are more queasy making than others. Of course, Amy can't drain her greasy 80-20 hamburger meat. She'd rather leave it in for flavor. That's the most repulsive looking cottage pie I've ever seen. Greasy, undrained ground beef seasoned with random spices with no gravy, frozen veg unseasoned straight from the bag, hard, dry mashed potatoes, and frozen cheese. So gross. From Miss Barbara, she gets these amazing candles. They're odor eliminating candles. They smell so, so good. So, you know what? It's good because this house. You know, like your house smells like your house. Well, this house does not smell like us yet. Okay, so Auntie Barb knows this house reeks with the force of a thousand unwashed teenagers. This is embarrassing. I'd delete my channel if all my subscribers thought my house smelled so bad I need special candles. But I mean, a broken AC all summer, a giant trash can that can hold like three days worth of trash, six big teens and preteens who bathe primarily in the pool, a dog, a man who is so stinky and dirty that he stains the bed and makes the laundry smell like car parts. I guess Auntie Barb just put two and two together. But Amy blames it on the old owners, saying she just needs to bleach the walls and all will be right again. I got just got back and just ate dinner. It was really good. So I got Tuscany looking at it. Amy never washes her hands. It amazes me how she can just push through her day and her life with actual crust buildup on her hands and face. My day is going to be coming to a close. It's been a long Friday. I didn't even do any food today, but it's just been a This lady just did a flashback episode where she stood and she showed things she shopped for on other days, skating that they did on other days, food that they made on other days and then said it was a long day and she's tired like i said amy seek some help for yourself and stop trying so hard to be like everyone else stop comparing yourself to everyone else just try and get through a week of no lies then try to get through a week of no lies and no processed foods and then Try to get through a week of no lies, no processed foods, and an actual real walk every day. Betterman, Amy. Get on it. So I am looking forward to our weekend. Come back on Monday because I will be doing some food because I'm going to get up tomorrow and make food for the weekend, anniversary weekend, and enjoy our weekend out, which I'll film a little bit of that. And then um, it's, it's going to be a great anniversary. It's good. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, Christmas shopping and all the fun stuff. And all right, neighbors, I hope you enjoyed all the fun stuff. I'll be back with another video soon. In the meantime, like, share, subscribe, and make sure you click the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I post a video. Enjoy the holidays, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, neighbors.